Good morning. <clears throat> Hello. Good morning. Anybody there? Come on in. Come on in. Let me just take that screen away. Oh, come on. I know you're there. Cup of tea and then we'll get going. Oh, you're going to love this. It's a nice, hello Jilly Clifton, nice to see you, good morning. Yeah, come on in. Ah, Stuart, what is all that about? Uh, so, come on in. Grab a seat, beautiful sunny day here in Crowborough today. Lovely to have your company. Good morning, Josie. Oh, and Glynis, oh. All the parches are in town. You're going to you're going to enjoy this. And um, just so you know, the um, I wonder we didn't check that out. I've been too busy to think about it. I will. I wonder if the big fat white uh, pens work on parchment or whether they're too wet. Well, quickly, before anybody turns up, let's just have a quick look. Hold on. I know what to do. You've got a question. Answer it, Barbara. Let me just find a piece of parchment that's that's blue. Oh, come on. You know you got some. There you go. In the name of research and development, let's see, shall we? Whether it's too wet. The parchment. Because it works like a treat. The Posca pens, they work like a dream on paper. Let's have a look. Quick, before anyone turns out. Come on in. Hey, up me duck. All right, Glynis. Nice to have your company. Let me just see. I can't see it on there. I've got different glasses on. Right, so the white one, the little thin one, well, clearly that works magically. Yeah, so so that works really nicely on, on um, have a look. See, magic. Magic on parchment. So we know that that works. Now the big fat one, that was the question, because this is what we're using at the moment. Let me see. Magic. Fabulous. Okay, answer. There you go, Linda. Linda asked and I answered. So the fat ones work beautifully on parchment. Just check in, even if we over really wet it. Let's have a look. Not that you would do that, but it's about whether it buckles or blisters. No, it doesn't. Okay, so there's your answer. There's not too much water content in these pens, clearly, because that's working really well. There you go. We'll see how quickly it dries as well. Okay, let's see how quickly it dries. So that's dried already. That one is dry already. That one, not quite, because I really went for it. I can see it. It's dry around the edges. Doesn't take long to dry either, people. Hey ho. Right, I hope that answered your question, Linda. When we were chatting, that question came up. Good to know. So yeah, the white pens. They're really cool. Posca pens. You know, in all the years I've I've worked, I said it, I think I said it on Monday, I've worked looking for pens, you know, to do snow with. You know, when you do a lovely sky, a night sky, and then you want to put snow in. And the ones that you, that are around, even the Pergamano one, I'm killing the sales here, but the Pergamano one, it's not as white as this. I'll tell you that now. No way, no way. With the Pergamano, you get the beautiful, really tight, fine, that's good, but you have to do it once and then let it dry and then go back. So it's like you have to make a little shield and then go and then it's nice and white. And then actually in Pergamano pen's defense, the white pen, it works at just as white as this, but you have to go over it twice. So there you go. There you go. Just pulled it back. <laughs> Right, come on, let's get started. Good morning, hello Ken, lovely to have your company. Zena, so many familiar friends. Isn't it nice to be able to hang out together? Hmm? Sounds good, I hope. Let me see, let me just check. Sound is good, Barb, thank you, Stuart. Stuart's in the building with you this morning. So if you've got any question, Stuart's your man. And uh, 
And on Monday we started doodling, didn't we, on the on the craft, on that lovely buff paper. Came out nice. Should we have a look what we're doing? Ah, oh, nectar. Ten o'clock. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy, and creative. Stay home and craft. There you go. And here we are in a in a perfect storm. I think we could call this a globally perfect storm and uh, and it just uh, it just keeps getting better and better doesn't it so what we're going to do every monday wednesday and friday just for one hour we're going to hang out we're going to doodle we're going to get distracted and we're going to have some fun just to relax and what i'm doing here is just serving up little little bite-sized dishes for you that you can then use to to take your mind off other things that perhaps make you anxious, you know, just to redirect your thinking because you get so focused on colouring and doodling. That's what this is all about. That's all we're doing in the Shack Shack. We're here to keep you company. And what's lovely is we started this on the initial lockdown. Not lovely, but lucky, right? We started this on the initial lockdown, didn't we? And here we go. We're just about to start on the second one tomorrow. Aren't we glad that we didn't disband that we didn't dismantle the shack shack you know that we kept it going yeah it's all good and I think you'll be pleased to see where we're going today because I don't think it's where you think we're going but it'll be nice because do you remember on Monday we were looking at um we were getting so we got some tracing paper out didn't we let's have a look we got a bit of tracing paper out and we, let me put, if I put a bit of white paper underneath it, that will help. Have a look. So there you go. So we put a bit of white tracing paper out, didn't we? And then we we worked out how to do, if we're going to do, um, uh, what are they called? Bookmarks. We're going to transfer the, the picture. We did a lovely little sort of folk arty kind of scene, real simple. With, um, with some lines in the fields. and So we had a real play. I saw some fabulous artwork. That was my original one. That's the one I'm going with. Um, saw some superb artwork uh, on Clarity Worldwide. Really nice, see? So that's going to fit in there. Lovely. So what we've done is done it on... Um, on tracing paper, not on parchment, because that's too expensive. And then what we're going to do, you see, is we fold it over. I won't fold that one over, because I want to use it. We folded it over, and then we got the same um, swirly landscape for the back of the um, thingy bookmark. So that way, we've got two different scenes on either side. So that is going to translate then, look, into uh, this buff paper. So I know that we, lots of you have already invested, but we've got this on the, with the white pens, I think it comes on the website. Um, you've got the black, light buff, and then a darker buff, um, and it's paper. So it's really nice to use, okay? Well worth having. And I'm gonna show you now where we're headed, because I think that will, that will, you more will become clear when you actually see what it is that we're, we're doing with our, um, with our white pencils and with our white pens. There are tricks in here. Let's get in a bit closer and let's see if you can, if we get in a bit closer, let me just bring it up so you can have a better look. Now you can see better, right? So, so you can see we've got white pencils going on, we've got grey pencils going on. We're using the craft card to great effect. We're using the tiny, the, the fine white liners, and we're using the fat white liner as well, the fat Posca pen and the thin Posca pen, okay? Now I wanna show you a couple of tricks. I think, I think that's what this is gonna be about. Today, I'll show you some tricks and we'll sh see how we can transfer the tracing paper sketch onto our craft card. Remember I said to you, if you haven't got white pens and you haven't got Posca pens and you haven't got the craft card or the, the buff paper or anything like that, it makes no difference. You can do this 
with a piece of white paper, copy paper and a pencil. It just won't look, it won't be buff, but, but the, the process with the shading and all that, you can do that perfectly well. You, you can still join in. You know, this isn't a, well, if you haven't got that, you can't do that. And if you haven't got, this isn't the point of the Shack Shack at all, is it? You know, it, at, at the very least, you could draw a fabulous little scene, you know? It's nice, isn't it? I like this. I was very happy with this. So what we're going to do, okay, what we got? A wonder, doodling a wonderland scene. Yes, we are. A winter wonderland. Uh, so what we're going to do, first of all, is transfer this. See, because I've got it on my tracing paper. Now, some of you, I'm sure, you could literally, now you've got your your composition, if you like. That's the thing, isn't it? You've got choices. You've got a composition. So if you wanted to, you could just put it, you could just draw it straight on here. I bet you could, you know. Um, or you could transfer it, couldn't you? You know, like we do when you take your, you take your, um, how many pieces of paper have I got here? You take your, your tracing paper that you've drawn on, then you flip it over and then you transfer it with pressure, don't you? So you could take your H pencil or your H, take an H pencil and you can flip it over and it will transfer the pencil line to that. That's another way to go. God, it's suddenly got hot in here. Right, let me just either take my shoes off or turn the heating off. The sun is pouring in. It was freezing this morning, wasn't it? Very cold early doors. And now it's really warm. <laughs> right, that's better. Okay. So we could do that or, and this is what I did. Let me just get the right glasses on. I think that will help me immensely. Oh yeah. Right, so we could do that, right? Transfer or, and this is what I did. And this is just to get the, the picture onto the buff paper. I used um, me light wave because you can copy, you can see through the, you can see through the buff paper. Ho, 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 isn't that a result? So, so that's another way to go. And it was the way that I chose because I wanted to go fast. <laughs> so let me see. And if we, let me just, let's just get ready. If you've got a light wave, because I know loads of you bought one in the sale, right? we've sent it to you already. Sorry it's taking so long, but we've really got it going on at Clarity. Just bear with us. We're trying the best we can. Um, right, let's have a look. So the, just to recap, if you, if you look at the buff paper, the bookmarks is that's what we're, we're headed for. The bookmark, if that's, a, if that's the A4 piece of paper, the bookmark is exactly the right length, like so, right? This way along. And it's about two inches this way. Right, about two inches that way. So you've got to, when you're drawing your picture, just a slow recap, just to calm it down a bit, you can see that the picture is exactly designed to fit inside the bookmark. So let me just show you it. If that's going to be, that's going to be my bookmark, you see. So it's gone, I'm a bit tight on that corner, but that's all right, I can live with that. I did that deliberately because I've still got another plan in that corner. So I want to make a little border. But you've got to be able to, see, I might have to cut that off, but I don't care. I love it, right? So so you, if, you, if you're making bookmarks, you've just got to be mindful that you're talking about two inch tall art, yeah? And if you get carried away like I did, you may have to just lop a bit off. That's all right. Doesn't matter, does it? Mm, not at all. So, so that's what we've got to do now. Light wave. Okay, let's have a look. One, two, three. Oh, hello. One, two, three. That's it. And then I'm going to pop that on there and that on there. And you see, I can see through and I can see exactly where my picture is going to go. But what I want to do in order to keep it straight while I'm transferring, because I'm going to go with ink. I'm going straight with ink. I'm not going to use a pencil. 
I'm going to go straight to ink. Let me come over this side so I can get my head over. Right, so I'm going to line it up and I'm going to make sure it's straight. See, it doesn't matter. I can always trim a bit off, can't I? What's important is that this edge here is, is straight with the tracing paper because otherwise your, your bookmark will be wonky. See? So now that's, that's holding that in place while I work. Now if I don't want it to actually... Let me just turn that over so it doesn't stick to the light wave while I'm... Because I may want to move it around a bit, you know, just to be able to do that. Right, so that works well, and I can see exactly where my picture is. Can you see that okay? Yeah, easy. Now, what do we need? So we've got that, right? Um, the number one, I'm going to use the number one ink, the doodle pen. You know the, what are they called? Micron pens. Micron pens. <laughs> there is somewhere I've got a box of them. I don't know, the seven in the pack, they're brilliant. We just need the number one one. And if you haven't got any micron pens, use a biro or something. Just need something black, okay? Something black. So that's what we're going to do now, is put the, the line art in. And I found that the most important thing for me when I was doing this, sorry, when I was doing this, take that off for a minute, was to just get the line, the, the, the landscape in. The rest you could kind of just improvise, but the landscape is the, the thing that really sets the scene, doesn't it, right? So that's where I, that's really the most important thing. Is that the highest one? Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, that'll do. Right, landscape, are you ready? Should have a little sip of tea first, come on. I'm not trying not to race. because we, we've got as much time as we need to do this. But what I want to do is get the landscape in. See, and what I will do is I'll have a little peep and make sure that I'm actually on track. Okay, so this one here, I'm going to go like that, like that, like that, like that. And I'm going to start up here. Now, I don't want to press too hard. Round we go. And when I get to there, I'm going to stop. And I just want to check that I'm going in the right direction. So I've got so much busyness. Yeah, I have. So I'm going to come round like that and like that. So round we go again. And if I'm going to come up, I will come up for air at a joint. See, so I'll come back down like that. Up we go again. All right, and then round there to there. So you follow your path. Up we go again. Round we go. That's it. This is a bit weird what happened here. So we'll just change it a bit. Right, so I've got that again. That's that one sorted. That's not so bad, you see? So that's that bit done. And now I'm coming around the other way. One, two, three. Right. Take your time. There's no rush. It's not a performance, is it? So that's going to come round there. So this one here is going to come round like that. Okay, here we go. Round like so. And then I'm going to stop there. And I'm going to come round like so. Like that. That's it. And then I'm going to come round like that. Okay. Can you see this all right? That's better, isn't it? Now what's going on here? Okay, so that one comes up like that a little bit, not too much. And then round like that. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Right, and once we've got that, then we can put the houses in, right? So houses next. So we're transferring now. How are you doing it? How are you doing it? Are you just watching? Or are you... Are you working with me. So you have to kind of see where you're headed, don't you? Right, let's have a look. And the thing is, there's so much more to do here. Don't worry. There's going to be so much more to do. 
that they'll be really um, plenty of opportunity. If it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. Hello. It's going to be fine. Let's get the houses in. Just Well, at least the shapes. Should we get the shapes of the houses in? See, and then, like I say, you can, you've got choices. You can either use the trace through, use your light wave if you've got one. So I only put two houses in on this one. There you go, I've got two houses. So I did a sideways one here, didn't I? See, I could always, if I want to trace this out and I can't see it very well, it's obvious that I can always um, press a bit harder on the, if I can't see what I'm doing, I just make the pencil line a little bit ha harder underneath. You know, there you go. It's, this is just the way to do it. If you particularly like what you've done and you don't want to have to redraw the whole thing, then you can just trace through more or less what you've got, especially the shapes, the shapes. The infill is not so bad, is it? Now let's get these trees done, right? And this is the nice bit now, because remember when we drew them, when we drew them, we, we drew them on stalks, didn't we? We put the bit down the middle and then we worked off the centre line. But now, of course, we can we can work off the... What have I got here? Tree, like that. That will do. Another tree here. I guess the other thing is to remember is to look at what you're doing. Like, don't worry too much about what's underneath. Get your creative hat on and... Pay attention to what it is you're actually drawing, you see? So I've got another tree over here. It doesn't matter if it's not the same as the one underneath exactly. The one underneath is just giving you a rough idea. I just want to see how many of these skirts this tree's got. That'll do. There's a skirt. Nice, nice, nice. Then we've got the moon up there. Oh, and there's a chimney here. Chimney there, that'll do. And then we've got the doors and the windows and the lines and all that. I don't really think that I even need the, um, the light wave to do that. So I've got my basic shapes down. See, that's what I wanted was my basic images. Got it? Nice, isn't it? Once I've done that, can you see okay? Do I need to come in a little bit closer, do you think? Eh? What do you think? Could do. Let me just put this out of the way. Just to get the outline, you know? That's all you need. So you've got two ways to do that. Either you flip the tracing paper and you transfer it with a, with a H for hard pencil, right? And if you want it the same way around as you drew it, you've got a flip flip, haven't you? You've got a double flip. So you've got to then, you've got to trace it out one time. And then that might be the way you get the, ba the back and the front. That might be really cool. Oh, I've just had a thought. Do you know <clears throat> when we were talking about doing the back and the front, if you did the transfer, you could do one side and then the other side. So it's almost like you're looking at the back of the house and the front of the house. That'd be pretty clever, you know. Do you get what I mean? So you do that side on that side, like that. You do that, right? Then you'd flip it over to do the other side and then you'd actually be looking through it, wouldn't you? Hey, hey, hey. Now that's not a daft idea either. I'm going to try that. I'm going to give that a go because I think that would be really cool. A little bit more work, but where, what have we got lined up? Hmm? Oh, come on. Stretch your neck. Oh, do you like me to talk? Got my winter ones out now. <laughs> I know, it came in the post, because obviously everything that I do is online at the moment. And Dave said, oh, we've got new pyjamas. I thought, well... 
These are pretty trendy pyjamas, David. <laughs> it's not pyjamas. <laughs> pyjamas. Blimey. This is a very trendy shirt. It's not pyjamas. Look, it's got lace on the sleeves. <laughs> Shall I show you up close? Look, it's got lace. Look. Can't see it, can you? But it's actually lace. I've only just noticed that with my good glasses on. <laughs> Pyjamas. Anyway, moving on. Let's do the inside bit now, shall we? We'll do these bits. Shall we go in a bit tighter? Move in a little closer. It's just my head gets in the way. Let's have a look. If I go like that. Be nice to see this one while we're working on this one, eh? Because I could show you. It's quite... It's quite a few stages and layers, but I like the overall image, don't you? I love that effect. And that was one I kept saying, right, we're going to use, um, we're going to do uh, with a white pen and, and on buff. This was the sort of look that I was hoping to achieve. Now, let me just think for a minute. I need my black micron pen or a biro, or whatever. And now we're going to do a bit of infill. Now we're going to fill out our artwork in. So the first thing is, let's do the houses. Right now, before we even start, see I've already worked ahead, so so I know what, what to, for you to do. The houses need to be quite a good size, right, so, to be able to get the effect. Now let's go in really tight on this window. Let's go on the window, that's all we, let it let it focus just right now have a look at the window because that's a little trick that's a little trick but what we need is like um the the window panes but then a little frame around the outside okay so you've got to give yourself enough room to do that and don't worry about how to get the white in i've got a trick to show you so what i'm saying is when you do a window make the window big enough to put a frame around it so door first, right, door there, leaving enough room for a window. So I'm going to put the, the frame out, that's my point. I'm putting the frame round, then I'm putting the window in, uh, there you go. Same again. This is one big window, right, but it's lovely to do, like that, and then we'll put the window panes in. Okay, <clears throat> let's put some roof tiles in. You could make them. You can make them straight, or look, you can make them funky, like that. Looks good too. It's whatever you want it to be. Trees are trees. We'll leave them as they are. Right, we've got that and that. Now we'll go for the. Come, let's have a look at that. Now we'll put a little door in. Let's put a door in, but we'll put a lintel over the. Why not? Let's go for it. Door. Not hard, is it? Lintel, window frame. Oh, it's going to be a bit small, this one. Uh oh. Okay. It's only got two. No, I'm going for it. A little bit taller, that could have been. I'll make a bigger one up the top. To... Old houses do have little windows, don't they? Like that. Okay. Okay. We'll do the. We'll do the picket fence as well. Let's do one thing at a time. Houses first. Houses, houses, houses. Right, we'll do a round one here. Okay. Nice. A bit more of a barn, this one, isn't it? Door. I think I might put a lintel on that one. Just to make it a bit more interesting. That's it. Right, and then we need a window here. Outer frame first. It helps, honestly, it does. Inner, oh, tight, right, barn, roof, got a little red barn this, isn't it, that'll do, and then we've got the roof on this one, see, once you've got your shape in, it's not bad, is it, this, this one's got a door, right, big door, it's more like a lighthouse, this one, Wee, well, that's a bit funky, Right, big window, this one. Frame. Nice. 
easy street so that's that done now hang on knobs there you go sorted you keeping up so the next thing is the the fields let's call them fields so if you if you look now you can see very clearly they all start tighter at the top and come bigger to the bottom so for example here let's call this one the path right let's start with that one that will give you a good orientation right now everything else comes away like that and tighter see so it goes like that like that and then as it gets closer it goes tighter there nice same in the middle I think that's what we'll do here right so we'll just go like that let's do a little do one like that right and then that will give you orientation for all of them and then along we go again here we go steady hand I tell you what one of the best tips I can give you is take your time take your time turn the paper make the artwork come to you if it feels uncomfortable just turn it round and make it come to you there you go slowly does it see so there's a field right we've got another one here another door oh hang on doorknob hello right so we'll give it a path so this is a path there you go and that gives you your orientation for the field in front tighter and here we go again don't let's not worry about that one right now i haven't figured that one out yet right this one next right we've got a tree there okay so this one's the door's in the wrong place but that's okay he has to go there's steps coming up over the top <laughs> right ready it's just start in the middle ignore the ignore the house on this one right here we go this is going to look nice when it's done we well, see there we are so this is no different than what we've done in the past together is it except that we're working on, on on this buff paper which is really nice to work on i've got to say it's got a lovely um when you get close to it you'll see it's got a little kind of fleck in it like um it's got like a like a kind of a gold fleck in it i don't think you can see it very well until you're you've got it in front of you but it's very pretty very pretty right so we've done that we've done that we've done that got that got that got it got it got it got it got it the only thing we haven't done is the um the picket fence okay we're going to go all the way along it's a good learning lesson it's a good uh, learning curve this one so let's do the, the picket fence start here let's start here get our eye in first so we're going to go picket fence along here and what i'm using is actually the fields um, that helps the let's go a bit smaller let's go around the back you can use the lines here right here we go again picket fence just do little now we're going to come a bit further it's going further away that's it let's do all the posts first and then we'll worry about joining them up afterwards picket fence there just do the little picket fence around the back of the tree now this is going to be a bit smaller here and then it gets bigger as it comes up don't want to go too large it's a it's a picket it's a fence not a wall right here we go and then back down the other side a bit smaller again yeah that'll do then round the back of this house and this tree and then over the back of this one easy isn't it and then this here we're just going to go a little bit further away 
as it gets further away, it gets smaller, look. That's it. Perfect, that'll do. So, stretch. Oh, should I have a cup of tea? Come on. Slowly does it. So you get all your black work down first, your line art if you like. I know several of you did this in white, which looked beautiful as well, like a proper snow scene. That looked really nice too. But I think that this, with the black line art, it gives it, it makes it available to other people that are watching that don't have the white pens and don't have the colouring pens, you know. And then maybe down the road, if they really like the look, then they'll treat themselves. Let's do, the next thing we want to do is the, yeah, there's a couple of little tricks I want to show you now. You ready? How are you doing? Everybody happy? I can't see a thing with those. Let me just check. Morning, just a bit late. Morning, morning, yeah. We're all good. Can we have happy Christmas on a fresh cut die? <laughs> yes, is the answer to that. Right, so what we've got now is um, we've done that bit. So the next thing we want to do is put the lines. We've got to join up the picket fence now. Okay, so we'll join up the picket fence. So let me just show you something. When you, when you join up the picket fence, you've got to decide which angle are you looking at. If you're looking at it from this angle, then, then the, which we are, then the the wire, it goes into that one. So it, it starts on that one and it travels into that one. Like that. Okay. So it goes into the, into that one. So let's, let's say, just for the sake of argument, let's leave that until we put the white in because, and I'm going to show you, that's going to be, if we get into the picket fence, it'll be, you'll only have to do it twice, you see, because we're going to put the white in. But there's a, then we've got to put the shade in before we put the white in. So now it's going to start getting interesting. One step at a time though, okay? So, so that's what we're going to do, but let's not do that. Let's not forget to do it, but let's do it once we've done the white, okay? Not doing that yet either. So there's one more thing I want to do, right? Just along this edge here. Let's get along here. Come come round here now, and let's see if we can do this. Come round and put a little bit of a like a dimension on it, like a lip. Come round like that. Let's, let's have a go. And remember this one here. What we're doing here. Go slowly. This is your, let's call it your template, shall we? I'm going to come in on the inside on this one so it's not so deep. There you go. Good, I'm glad I didn't do the inside. <laughs> in fact, what could we do here? Let me just have a look at this. If we, yeah, okay. Let's just do exactly the same as we did on the other ones, like that. Here comes the tighter bit, and as it comes round here, it's going to stop on that one. Yeah, that's what it's going to do. It's going to stop on that one and come round on that one. It's only because I curled it in. I'm not sure about that yet. We'll leave that bit. Okay, so. Let me show you something I want to try out now, right? There's a few little tricks that we're going to do before we start. Let me just have a think. Yeah, okay. Right, white pencil. Let's do a little bit of white work first because we're going to do that in layers. So let's have a look at the pencils that we've got available to us. White. You've got pergoliner liner pencils in the pergoliner liner box. You know, in the you've got white. You've got a B pencil. It doesn't look like this, but it's exactly the same pencil. It's, it's the wooden one, but it looks, it's the same pencil, all right? Trust me on that. All right, so you've got a white pergoliner and you've got the white polychromos. 
We've added these. You can buy these individually now. What we want to do now is add, let me just show you. If you've got the white perga liner, we're going to add some white. So whether you've got a polychromo or a perga liner, this is the perga liner. It works. Okay. Of course it does. Don't press hard though. Let me just show you something though. Right, so we're going to work in layers. You can see it's definitely working. Now I'm going to use a polychromo. Okay. Same thing. Same idea. Just I'm not pressing any differently. Just want to show you the difference. See how one's whiter than the other one? It just works. You know, for certain things. There you go. On on in my humble opinion, the polychromo works better than the pergoliner pencil. But both work. Just won't look. It's, it's self-evident, isn't it? And then this one, let me see. If I add a bit more, I've just got to add more layers, I guess, have I? Yeah. Just explaining you. Just explaining. One is one is whiter than the other one, okay? Um, and I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't explain that. One more expensive as well. They're not bad though. And we've decided that we can, we can get them in individually so that, because I said, oh, I said to Paul, the white one, the polychromo is brilliant. Can you get it on its own? He said, leave it with me. Anyway, he rang me and he said, yes, you can now. We can get it on our, it's on the website now. Yeah, just believe me when I tell you that it works polychroma. I'm sticking with the polychroma. If you've got a perga liner, it's fine. You've just got to go a few more layers and go gently. Now, let's do this then. Let's, let's go around here now. I don't want to rush it, you see, because there's a couple of tricks. But it's all about highlights and lowlights. It's about shadows and then highlights. So we're going to use the white, but I'm going to avoid. Can you see how I'm avoiding the, can you see this okay? hope so. Um, I'm avoiding the window frame. That's it. So I've avoided the window frame. Right, down we go. There you go round. Just gently, because you might do a couple of layers of this. See, really, if you were working on white paper, you wouldn't have to do this because they're all white to start with, aren't they? But there's something very magical about that, having that darkness in the background, to my mind. So, So white pencil work. And if you go over the black lines, don't sweat it. It's fine because we, we can, at the end, we can go back in with our micron pen. And we will, and we'll redefine. We can sharpen up the lines and then they really pop, you know. So don't worry if you're going over them. Not at all. It's entirely up, you know. You can go carefully or you can whistle straight over. Now, with the with the fields, for example, you know, having said that, you could, if you were whizzing, if you were rushing, you could do the whole lot like that and then redefine. But I actually went through one furrow at a time because I just felt it looked right. And also, we're not doing this to race, are we? Let's have a look. So you put a little bit of white in everything, in the chimney. Oh, I'll tell you what we haven't done. We haven't done the, the, the moon. Right, while we've got the white in our hands, let's have a look. Let me just find my... So we're going to use... Like that. Just make a really line. Okay. Just making a line so I know where not to... I don't want to go beyond that line. 
So if I just do this light, lightly, lightly, lightly like that, that'll do. I mean, I'm going to go back over it with the white pen, the Posca pen. We've got we've got wasps in here. Can you hear him? Let me just let him out. Let me just let this wasp out because he's. We've got all these tired wasps coming out to play. Go on, off you go. Go on. Clear off. Come on. Move it. Oh, you pain. Go on. Please. I don't want to hurt you. All right, I'm going to leave the window open and let him just figure it out. Go on, you know where? There you go. Wasn't too hard, was it? Yeah, there have been about five or six of them in here this morning. Mm. Where was I? Uh, fields, that's right. Got houses first, come on. It takes a little while, you know, to get through all this, but I don't want to rush it. That's what I wanted to say. I wanted to sort of savour these different tricks and tips with you, you know, rather than say, oh, and then go home and, and do it yourself. And I thought, no, I want to do this with them. Otherwise it defeats the object. It just it turns into a, a workshop and it's not a workshop. This isn't a workshop. This is about hanging out with a group of girls and boys, friends, and doing it nicely together. That's it, isn't it? So, that'll be good. Right, I've done that, done that. Now we've got the these bits. Right, this is nice. So we're just going to go in here, long white strokes. There you go. Whether you use your perga liner, white pencil, have a look. That's your perga liner. See? Works. It's fine. It works. There are loads of these white pencils. I've tried so many of them. It was the same with the pens. You know, we, we're always looking for the perfect white, aren't we? It's like we were always looking for the perfect gold. Well, we found that now. Funny enough, that's uniball as well. The, the gold and the um, silver, they work really nicely. I always used to use pilot pens. And the pilot pens work really nicely on, um, on like coated stock, if you're using shiny card. But then I always found when you used them on card card, like porous card, it tended to go a bit um, flat, you know, like dull. But these uniball ones, they don't. So I know we've stocked up on them and only because I know that a lot of us are starting to make our Christmas cards now and everybody wants gold and silver, don't they? Right, let's have a look. Nice, nice, nice. So just a little bit of... Don't want to rush it. Because there are certain sort of, there's a sequence to everything that we're doing here. What's the time? Quarter two. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So we're doing the real stuff here. This is good. So this is all the pencil work today. And then on Friday, we could probably do the pen work, if you know what I mean, the Posca pen work. This is all, this is all pencil, isn't it? I'm going to sharpen this because if you look here, there's a sequence. I'm not going to give it away until we're ready. I don't want to rush it. I just don't want to rush it. But there is definitely, there's a layering game going on here. Right, let me just sharpen my pencil. I'm going to have to treat myself to a better sharpener. What's that? I've got sharpeners everywhere here, but the, where's my favourite one? That's the one. That's the favourite. No, nope, that's not it. I don't want to... So that's the other thing is with expensive pencils, you don't want to 
kill them with a electric sharpener or something like that. That's better. Right, so now I can get into my tight the tighter areas, can't I? That's it. So that's still got to be done. Nice. We can add a bit more later. But it's the same as when we're colouring in. It's about getting a little bit more... Look at the layers when you add a layer. See how it gets brighter, doesn't it? That's it. So that's cool. Yeah, nice. So, the other thing that we've got to do... Right, so we've got our white... But we've got our grey as well, so it'll be the white and the grey that we're, that changes the trees, okay? So we're going to get our white in, but then we're going to get our shadow in as well. So let's start with that, shall we? Have you got a grey? You just need a grey, like um, grey, cold grey four I've got here. Cold grey four, or what have I got here? Cold grey five. Payne's grey, any of those greys, the polychromos ones. Again, they're available on our... Do you remember we did that set of 12? You know the set of 12 with the, all the greys and the beiges and that? That's what you want now. Something from there to get the shadows in. So let me take a lighter colour first. And let's just establish where the shadow is going to be. So I'm going to put it under here now. Right, so we're going to put a bit of shadow under there. You know what's lovely is that we're, this is our own artwork, you know. That's what you've got to try and, we didn't, this is not a print off and we're colouring it in. It's not, this is your art now. This is a different, different realm, you know. So what we're doing is we're just adding a bit of shadow underneath there, like that. See? And you can add a bit more. Just down that side. See if we had a bit more on this one. Let's just do the underneath those trees. So it gives it the, the illusion of layering, doesn't it? Under there. So what what pencil am I using? Cold grey four for this, just to build up a, a layer first. And then I'm going to go in with a darker one afterwards. That goes in there like that. Starting to get character. There you go. In it goes, like that. Underneath there. And then again on the roof as well, you see. So if you go in under, you're tucking in under there. Let's do it all with the light one first. See, as soon as you just chisel into that, it's good. Just chisel in. To those lines there and then it looks like it's layered more see cool doesn't it so once we've got the shadow there and there and there I think that'll do for the moment right let's take a darker one take a darker pencil and let's go again in the same 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 sketch but a bit darker this time see how dark that is compared to this so we've got to go a bit darker and then and then a little bit lighter. Those are the th that's the trick is to add another layer of white as well. See how it's changing it now. Right, let's get a bit of shadow under there. You want the flat of a the flat of the pencil, not the that's too much. Right, when in doubt, hang about, get your rubber out. <laughs> I'm a poet and I don't know it. There you go. That's better. Nice. Okay. So we're getting the trees in, lovely. It's going to be good, you know. And then, add a bit of white again. Especially on that, on the edge on that edge there, if you see what I mean. That will make that jump. There you go. So let's get the trees right. Let's 
going to look pretty when it's done. Hmm? Isn't that cool? Come on then, let's have a look. You enjoying this one? This is lovely. And then on, on Friday when we get together, see, so what you could do now, do us a favour, if you want to know how to do this, just wait until Friday, and then on Friday we'll do these front bits and we'll do the picket fence and the backdrop, right? So what we're going to do is we're, I'm going to start showing you different layering tricks with the pens. And we'll do that Friday, okay? But for today, because it's all... Can you believe... I cannot believe that it's already... I can't believe that. It's already nearly 5-2, isn't it? Crikey, where does the time go, eh? But that's okay. Let's get this right. See, so I'm flicking my my pen over. So I want to get under, I want to chisel in underneath that so it looks as if it's actually layered. But I can only get that effect if I get in underneath that line that I drew before. See, the darker you go in there. And when I wear it there, for example, I've lost the, 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 the black line. All I'll do at the end when I'm finished is look, I'll just reintroduce it. So don't give that a second thought. In fact, that's exactly what I did on the top one. So don't worry about losing it. So what we want to do between now and... Um, what we want to do between now and Friday is make the houses lovely and white. Right? Don't watch. And then on... I'm wondering whether we've just got time to do the windows, because the windows would be quite good to do. I don't want to spoil them, though. Let me show you. Or should we do all that on Friday? Let me think. God, I could do with two hours with you today. Isn't that funny how quickly the time goes? See how, white, how it's getting whiter as you go, as you build up layers? Look. See? how white it is up there. Let's go in this way. Let's go from the front to the back. Don't worry if you miss a bit. If you go over the black, we can sort that out afterwards. Look at the difference between that and that. Hmm? So what we're going to do, you see, the best bit's yet to come, actually. If you take... Um, Underneath the window, make a little shadow look, with the grey as well. That's going to be lovely. See, get your white in. Around the lintel, it gives it depth. It gives the whole thing just a funny... You see that? All right, I'm going to show you the windows. Take your white pen. Right, a bit of practice. Take a bit of scrap, like I've got a bit of scrap here. Let's get the window right. Okay, so fine pen, fine white pen. We're going to kind of try and stay inside the line. So I've got four little squares I'm going to make there, four little dots, like that. Okay. And don't worry if you, you missed a bit, it makes no difference. Right, because you're going to reintroduce it. Let's look at this one over here, right, so I'll show you. So you make your four dots, like that. They need to dry though, see? So that one there, see, now here's the trick. See, if you look at that one there, it's too small, I can't make four little dots. So I'll make two little dots. Don't worry, I'm still going to get four panes out of it, but just show you a trick. Right, that one as well. I can't, I can't. I'm going to have to make two little dots, two panes, and then sort it out afterwards. But where you can, just make your little dots. There you are, look. Four panes. Nice. You can spread them out. And if they touch, that's not a problem either. There you go. I've deliberately made it touch now. <laughs> okay. But that now needs to dry. That's the key. 
that needs to dry before you can go to the next thing, right? That's that's the bottom line. So while that's waiting, while we're waiting for that to dry, let's do this. See this line here, this one underneath. Let's get the white in there, right? Don't worry if you go over the black; it doesn't matter. Just infill that area like that. Oh, I wish we could carry on. I'm right into this now. Right, that's that one. Go slowly. But we're not using the white pencil on this. We're using the we're using the white Posca pen on this one. Oh, this would be so cool. I had the best afternoon yesterday working this all out. Alright, here we go again. Hey, I tell you what, I bet you're calm now. See, that's the thing, isn't it? When you do this, you just lose yourself in it. Like that little bit there. Doesn't matter if we go up a bit over the top, we can always add a bit of black. Like that. And down we come again. There. You just lose yourself in this, you know. So what I want you to do don't do anything, well, you can do what you like. You can carry on. If you think you know what, what what's going to come next, then by all means. But I would suggest that you just wait till Friday and then we do this together. So holding it in place while I do this. And then on Friday, I'll show you some tricks. See, so this is like a... Scrolling almost, isn't it? Hmm. Slowly does it. How are we doing for time? Oh, it's 11 o'clock already. Blast. Don't mind. That's all right. That's good. Gives us something to look forward to on Friday. So we've done that bit. Don't do any more. Um, and now the windows, are they dry? Let me just feel. Not quite. Let me just check if the windows are dry. <laughs> I reckon. See, and then what you do is, when when you've done that to the windows, you can redefine them by just going back with the black. There you go. So now I'm going back in with the black. There you are. So this one, like that, like that. And, and if I wanted to put another window, look, hopefully this is dry by now. Yeah, see, oh, you couldn't do that. You couldn't do that with the white pen, but you can do it with the black pen afterwards. And I'm I'm still only using the number one. If I was using the 005, it'd be even better. I've just got the one in my hand. See, so here, for example, I've got the two white dots you can see, but if I wanted to make a double pane, Provided that the white is, provided that the white is, um, crikey, do you know what? You could do two double, double panes. Look, now I'm showing off. Oh, <laughs> there you go. So, so this one where I splodged it, for example, provided that the white is dry, you see, you can go back in. And you can create your window panes. That's it. Look at the difference now in the windows, except for the one that I screwed up. So what I'm sh trying to show you a trick. So what I'll do there is I will, and this is where white out, this is like good old Tipex here. Look, I'll go again with that, right? And let that dry and do it again. So there's no... So that will dry, and then I'll just go do the panes again. The window just just got bigger. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't that be lovely if it was that easy? So the point I'm making is that we've, um, today, we've transferred the work to the buff paper, or the, the yeah, the darker paper, whatever. You could do this on designer paper too. Um, and then once we've done that, We've we've put in some white and some grey, so just shading. But what we want to do on Friday is start adding the 
the pens, the Posca white, and, and I'll show you what the black, the big fat one's for as well. Um, but I think, if I'm not mistaken now, if we just turn this round, let's have a look. We've done quite a lot today already. You see, so that's where we're headed. Okay, let me show you. Nice. And that's where we're already at. So we've got the windows in place. You watch, it will come together quickly, but there's a sequence. There's a definite sequence here. Okay. And what I'd like you to do, if you could, if you need homework, right, what I would really like you to do is uh, add a little bit more white. Get this white going in the fields, right? That's, the fields need to be a little whiter. Okay. Do your windows. Do the white. Do the shadow in the grey in the trees. Do the shadow underneath the window sills, leaving, leaving the little frames brown, right, buff. Um, so get the shadow under here, for example, in here, right. Concentrate on the trees and the houses and get them lovely. Don't worry about the picket fence and don't worry about the bit underneath because we'll do that together on, um, we'll do that together on Friday, okay. So thank you, thank you for your help and uh, 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 thank you for your help, Stuart. And thank you for your company. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and if you if you wanted to, you could just do a couple of other scenes. Do some other scenes. Do ones with churches. Do ones with different houses. You know, you you could get it up to this level easily. And then on Friday, I'll show you some tricks with the big fat Posca pen. It's cool. All right. Uh, lots of love. Have a smashing day. Be safe. Be safe and uh, happy and creative. Bye-bye now.